Hello returning subscribers, I'm Black Bright News and welcome to my channel. Um, yes, you know me, I come up with all different kinds of things and today I had to share with you this piece of news I found because sometimes we find ourselves in such a bind and yes, sometimes we're not prepared to take risks. Sometimes we don't like change, we don't like going into the unknown. I'm exactly the same. But if I didn't share um, this piece of information, I wouldn't be doing myself justice because not everyone is like me. Not everyone is scared to take a risk. I don't mind doing it if I'm desperate. Nothing will stop me. You know, I'll buy one of these one euro houses. But it's not about, it's not about that. It's about when you, when you feel low, when you feel as though you haven't got any money, you can't see the forest for the trees. Um, you can't envisage having your own home. These are the kind of opportunities you look for. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. You've also got to be very, very wary. I'm, I'm sharing this one with you because I know it's authentic. It was published by The Independent. But you've also got to be wary of scammers because I put this up on TikTok. And within minutes, I got uh, somebody saying, oh, I bought... I bought a house in Greece for, or somebody gave me a house in Greece and they gave me property and they also gave me £500, that kind of stuff. You don't want to be drawn in. You don't get nothing for nothing. Nothing is free in this world. If it's too good to be true, it usually is. Now, these one euro houses um, in Italy, they are houses. They're not all one euro. There are some, depending on the location, depending on the state of the building, depending how big the building is, you might have to pay maybe 200 euros or 1,000 euros. Whatever it is, it, it's reasonable. And the one euro um, houses in Italy, it means going to a certain part of Italy. It means that you're going to be isolated probably until more people come in. It means that if you don't know the language, it's going to be difficult for you. These houses are dilapidated or they've been left, they've been bequeathed and abandoned. You know, people have, el the elderly have left them to their children. They don't want them, so they've been left. And so the government has taken up these houses and they're willing, if you're prepared to pay the euro, it's just a nominal amount. It's a bit like what they do in the UK. You can gift your house for a pound. You know, I don't know if you knew that, but you can, so you don't pay taxes. It's a bit like that, only different. So you have these houses in Italy, um, you pay a euro, they're dilapidated, and you're going to spend between 20 to 50 grand fixing them up to make them to your standard. And like I said, that will depend on the, the type of house you, you get, the, how big the building is. You're not allowed to... Um, do any make any changes to the external you can do whatever you like internally so that is what that is about so i'm going to read it from my notes the other um, alternative if you're under 40 is that spain is offering is giving you 2600 pounds to brits if you're willing to go over to spain invest in a property um, if you've got a business going, that kind of stuff. So I'll elaborate a little bit more about that as well. So have I got you excited? So let me see what we've got here. Spain is offering 2,600 to move to an area in Spain called Ponga. Now, I think they said that's a bit far out. So once again, it's not necessarily isolated, but you will need a car if you want to get into Barcelona or the the, the, the towns that we recognise. Um, but the only thing that you would need to move to a place called also they have, sorry, they have properties in Calabria, and you would have to move there within ninety days of being accepted. You'd need to be under the age of 40 years old and be willing to either start a business or take on a specific job. <clears throat> I think they can discriminate with age because it's not about getting a job and you're a non-resident. 
And that's another thing with Italy, because you're a non-resident, you have to pay more tax on your property. But they do have tax incentives of about 100%, 110% of the amount you've invested in the property. So that is also good. Um, they call it a super bonus. But anyway, getting back to this, um, the website, and I'm going to put it in the link, is www one eurohouses.com now they have a book that tells you everything about it i didn't buy the book i don't know if it's a marketing tool they reckon it's a tenor but it tells you about everything you need to know about buying one of these houses so you get a home for one euro the property will be dilapidated a fixer upper it will definitely require innovation so bear that in mind you're not getting nothing for nothing um and to fix it, like I said, it could cost between 20, 20,000 euros and 50,000 euros. The challenge would, of course, be if you don't speak the language, the language barrier. And if you don't have the language, how will you know whether or not you're going to recruit an authentic, honest contractor? So this is where the challenges come in. And this is why it's not as easy as it looks. You have to think about these things in advance. If you know someone in Spain or you know someone in Italy who you trust, then it's great. They can recommend contractors for you. But if you're going in blind, it could be difficult. Um, there's a higher tax bracket if you're a non-resident. Um, this is Italy. It's 60 to 90 miles from Sicily just if you want to have some idea about the location of where these properties are. You'll need to stay 180 days of the year. You have to make a commitment to renovate within three years. You have to start the work within one year and you have to use the property as your primary home. Um, not all properties are sold for one euro, like I said. There is a bidding war on some properties between 5,000 and 20,000. So this is just to get you in the mind that you're not going to go over there. You think you're going to get a house for one euro and that's it. It's not that simple. Like I said, I can imagine what the houses look like for one euro, but they do exist. So if you've got some savings and you're, you've, you've got some wherewithal to do, you've got some background in construction work and this is a project you want to take on and you don't mind going to a foreign place where you don't know the language but you're willing to learn the language and it's an opportunity for you to live comfortably because you can't afford houses in, in England anymore. Unless you go way, way, way out in the sticks. So you might want to do that, but I still don't think you're going to get a house for 50 grand. And when you get a house in Italy after you've spent 50 grand, that is the upper level. So you really created that house how you want it to be. You've got a house in England for 50,000. You're still going to have to renovate it. So it's just about, I'm not suggesting you do it. I'm just showing you the options. So you don't feel that this is the end. This is it. I'm here. I'm in the UK. I can't afford to buy anywhere. I've only got 20 grand in the bank. I've only got 30 grand in the bank. And that can't do anything. That can't because, you know, that's how some people, people might be in that position. Okay. There's a guarantee fee required of between 1,000 and 10,000 euros, depending on the property and where it's located. So the properties that are in a better location and are much better, then you'll probably have to do a guarantee fee. That's just to make sure you actually buy the property. It's probably refundable once everything's gone through, but you'd have to check that out. Legal fees are going to cost around 3,000 euros. I think that's about the same as it is here in the UK. And you can renovate inside, like I said, but external must remain intact. Italy launched the one euro houses scheme for those who have a commitment to renovate within three years and use the home as a primary residence. And why they're doing this is because they just, it's to improve the economy, it's to um, improve the area. They don't want dilapidated houses all over the place. I wish the UK would do that. Um, and yeah, because, you know, sometimes you see these houses in the UK and they've been left and you kind of think there's no, you don't know who to call or what to do about them. And so you don't know how to get them. 
And unless you know which auction places is dealing with those particular properties, it's a bloody nightmare. Whereas this kind of scheme looks like it's a, a holistic scheme where everything is in one place and it makes it easier. So anyway, um, the towns where the properties are located, Asturias, Romagna, Abruzzo, Campania. And I think there's one more, Calab Calabria, Calabria, that's the other one. Italy offers a super bonus, which is a tax exemption for buyers, which covers 110% of qualifying building expenditures. Qualifying building expenditures. That means those expenditures have to be qualified by someone. So I guess they need approval before you get the tax exemption. You will need to submit details within 2 to 12 months of renovation plan and the start of the work within 12 months. So what they're saying is once the deal has gone through, you're going to have to send them a plan of what you, how you plan to renovate the property within two to 12 months. Um, so you'd have to have some kind of design or whatever. And then um, you'd have to start the work within 12 months and have it completed within three years. So does that sound like a plan or does it sound like a plan? Well, I'll put the details in the description and you can find out for yourself. Like I said, don't be scammed into these, something that's free. Nothing's free. So if it doesn't look feasible, don't bother. That's all for now. Bye-bye.